Got a baseball fan in your life and you have no idea what to get them for a gift? I got you covered. Hey guys, it's Josh, the 90 Know It All, coming to you today, giving you some gift ideas for the impossible baseball fan to buy a gift for. And I know it happens because I'm one of those fans who, you know what, my family wants to get me gifts and they just have no idea what to get me. So I'm going to give you guys some ideas of things that my family's actually gotten me, things I've gotten for myself as well, and you know, hopefully it helps you out. Before we do, guys, if you take a moment to click the like button, Leave a comment with some of the favorite gifts you've ever gotten that are baseball related. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It does help us out and it means a lot to me. So guys, first gift I have for you that, you know what, for any baseball fan, it's going to be fun. It's going to be something that, you know, is exciting to get and at the same time kind of kind of goofy. It's, but it's one of those things where, as you can see behind me, I collect different Funko Pops but there is one that is specifically designed for the baseball fan, and that is the Squints and Wendy Peppercorn Pop or Funko Pop. This thing, when I saw it at Target, even though I don't like the movie Sandlot very much, please no bad comments in the in, down below. I know everyone thinks I'm weird for being a baseball fan but not liking Sandlot, but I love this story. I love this part of the of the movie. One of my favorite parts. So. It's a, it's a different gift idea, something that, you know, you wouldn't think of normally, but if you give a baseball fan that, that part of, of that movie, they're going to smile. They're going to think it's fun. They're going to laugh at it. It's, it's a great gift. It really is. So number two on my list of things you can get for the baseball fan actually is two type of things. One is a gnome. Everybody loves a gnome. It's kind of fun. I actually have an autograph on both sides, although they're kind of fading at this point. But getting a gnome of you know your baseball fan's favorite team is fun. And then also, not just bobbleheads, but special, specific bobbleheads. I'm a huge Disney fan. Love Mickey Mouse. Uh, anyone who knows me knows that Disney is probably more of a love for me than baseball, and that's saying something. So getting something that actually comes in with both baseball and Disney, it's pretty big for me. It's something that I really like, really have fun. I actually got that a long time ago on one of my quite a few Disney trips. Got that a few years ago. I think it's actually been about 10, 12 years now at this point. So got that. Love it. A lot of fun. Gift number three, and this is for any baseball fan who has a newborn child. And this is one that I actually got uh, my wife found it and ordered it and it's really a cool little thing and that is actually what it is it's a it's just a regular baseball but they send you i don't know if you can see it there we go they send you this ink pad and so when my daughter was born in 2012 my wife had ordered this and we actually were able to put my daughter's footprint on this baseball and i've had it in all my offices uh had it you know in this area i've had it for wherever i wherever i do most of my work that's where i have that it's a cool gift. It's something that will always be important for me. You know, it's reminding me of when I first became a dad. It's baseball related. Once again, putting two things I love together is always a great idea. So guys, number four, and this one is actually something that I think pretty much any baseball lover would enjoy as well, especially baseball fans who are my age and collected baseball cards as a kid. And that is a vintage box of cards. Now, I know some people are thinking, well, that's going to be a lot of money. I paid five bucks for this box, and there were more of them. In fact, I've also got this one. Paid five bucks for that. And this one. Six bucks for that one. So I got all these different vintage cards, unopened packs. I paid five, six bucks for each, for each box. So... You can find those at pretty much any baseball card shop across the nation. You can order them online for, once again, pretty cheap because back in the 80s, especially the late 80s going to the early 90s, these cards, they're not worth much. But at the same time, when you get a baseball fan like me, someone who loved collecting cards as a kid, getting something like this, it makes you smile. It makes you remember your childhood. I've actually opened a few of those boxes and done some box breaks 
uh, here on the channel for you guys to watch. I'm going to open these three at some point. I've had them for about a, well, probably over a year at this point. Haven't done it yet. Uh, kind of just waiting for the right time when, you know, I don't feel like doing anything else. Just want to have some fun and open some packs of cards. So that is another gift that I love that, you know, it's not that expensive. And, you know, if you're not a big baseball card person, you don't really know what to get. <clears throat> Once again, just go into a baseball card shop and see if they have any boxes of cards from 87, 88, 89, 90. You know, they're going to be pretty cheap and you can, you know, make someone smile with that. So, number five on my gifts, and this one I'm not going to pull down, but it's actually this right up here. It's one of those 10 signs that you can put up. And this one actually is the 1985 tops front of the uh, pack, what it looked like. I wish it was a 1987. 87 is my favorite set of all time, the 87 tops. So I'm still looking for that one, but I'll find it at some point. Should be able to. Not too hard if I go onto like eBay or Amazon, but that's a cool gift too. It's a fun thing, something that people can, you know, enjoy and relax and, and hang up somewhere. And, you know, it doesn't take up a lot of space, but it still shows that they're a baseball fan. And then my final gift idea that I have for you guys is actually something you really don't have to buy. You do have to put time in to make it. And this is one that my wife actually did for me a couple years ago. And it's this Mariner Zone sign. Now, I've said before I'm a huge Mariner fan, but I am a huge, huge fan of their old logo. Not a big fan of the new logo, but I love the old logo. Whenever I get a Mariner's hat, it's got to have the trident on it because it's just, it's my favorite. It's my favorite logo of all time. It's the first logo I, I really followed as a kid. So having this sign, it really is cool for me. It's something that's personal, something that's made. You know what? It's baseball. Once again, it's a cool gift that you can do. It's not real expensive. just takes time. Time and, and you know, a little bit of effort, a little bit of paint, a little bit of wood, and you got it. And that's what it is. So, guys, I know that buying gifts for a baseball fan can be a challenge sometimes. And you don't just want to get them, you know, the same old thing every year. You know, the tickets to a game or an autograph ball. You want to get them something different? Well, those are my ideas, my thoughts. But hey, if you have some other ideas, some things that you think other people might like, post them in the comments below because I'll be honest. I always got to have ideas for myself to tell my family so they know what to get me. So any ideas you guys have, anything you've gotten in the past that you loved, let me know. It's kind of cool. So you guys, once again, I'm Josh, and I know it all, and those are my gift ideas that you can find for the baseball fan. Catch you later.